turn uh, to another story completely because uh, I want to get your take on this quickly. A 72-year-old grandmother who th fired her uh, 357 Magnum revolver at a man allegedly trying to break into her Orange County home. She said she was trying to defend herself and her 85-year-old husband. Uh, we've got a, two bits of tape here. One is the 911 call involving Jan Cooper telling the man to leave before firing her gun and then what she said at the press conference. Watch this. Black out, you son of a well, Mr. Perez, you have no idea how lucky you were to be able to walk away from my house. <laughs> now, he, he was unhurt in the end. The bullet whistled past his ear, apparently. Um, what is your view, Ben Ferguson? Yeah, if she wants to adopt another grandchild, I will more than happy uh, to go eat Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner at this grandmother's house. What a what a bad you know what. I mean, this is awesome. She's protecting her house. She's got a husband that's a World War II veteran who's in apparently, from what I've been told, is in a wheelchair. Mm. Uh, and and she was able to defend and protect when the police unfortunately weren't there yet. And you know what? This is exactly why our founding fathers. You know what, Ben Ferguson? Let me stop you. Gun. Let me stop you you right there because this is why I wanted to do this story when I knew that you were on tonight. I completely <laughs> and utterly agree with you. This is exactly what You're, I think I'm the Second Amendment you. is actually about. It's about an elderly couple who had a handgun that was duly, legally registered for 20 years, kept safely. An intruder breaks in, ignores a warning, and she fires a, a shot, and the man is arrested. Turns out he's a serial burglar but, but, and intruder. But Jeff, and, isn't, and isn't that, that what the fact Founding Father Jeffrey intended the Second Amendment to mean. Th this is an example of how much the debate has changed in this country. In 1968, when Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated by Sirhan Sirhan with a handgun, the reaction was the Gun Control Act of 1968, ban guns as much as possible. Now the reaction is, whenever somebody, as, as Wayne LaPierre says, the only cure for a good guy, bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. The Amen. idea that more guns make us more safe mm is so deeply ingrained now. But I think it's worth pointing out, it's a very different attitude than used to be. I, I agree, and I, by the way, I completely agree that the more guns, less gun crime thing is complete nonsense. Uh, however, I do think... It depends uh, on who has well, the guns, well, though. Here, well, here's the point I make, Ben. The point about this story is that we're in a nation that has 300 million guns in circulation, actually an elderly couple like this probably do need to have a handgun at home in case armed intruders come by because the well, likelihood is they may be. That's, that's a different argument it, to me to the one that we have regularly about mass shootings and the rest of it with AR-15 assault rifles and high capacity magazines and so on. And the reason I wanted to talk about this story was to make the point that I think this kind of situation is exactly what the Second Amendment was actually intended for. And, and it goes back to the core of background checks and everything else. If you're a law-abiding citizen, you you should have the right to protect and defend yourself and be able to go buy a weapon because the bad guys don't go buy them appropriately and they don't go through a background check and they don't buy, they don't care what kind of gun they get on the black market. And this is where it's proof yet again that if you have a family member, doesn't matter what age, young or old, and they've been prepared, she went to the range year after year with her husband, she knew how to shoot proficiently and she proved it in this situation. And you know what? She's alive and okay and unharmed because of it today. Yeah. Well, we've got to leave it there. I just think you make the point again, you can defend what she did in that situation, but also have a completely different view about assault rifles, machine guns, high-capacity magazines, and background checks. That's the nature of a sensible debate. Ben